Hello there, I'm Maggie, and welcome back to Science Time with Maggie. In case you forgot, I'm the Education Coordinator at the Reserve here in Delaware, and through this series, we're going to be studying why the Delaware Bay and all the other estuaries are so cool, and what we're doing to protect them. Now you're probably wondering why I'm down here in the water, and it's because I want to get up close and personal with the subject of our video today, water. So come on down, it's nice, it's cool, take a dip. Uh, well, okay, I guess you aren't really dressed for this. So I'll come up to you, just give me a second. Well this just isn't practical, give me a second. Oh, this is way better. And let's get back to what we were talking about, water. Not just water, but how we study it. Here at our reserve and all the other reserves across the country, we collect and analyze data for the swamp. Swamp, I know, another acronym. What does it stand for? I can tell you what it doesn't stand for. It doesn't stand for steak with mashed potatoes or squirrels with memory problems. But I know who can tell us what it stands for. Why don't we go find our research coordinator, Dr. Carrie St. Laurent, and she can fill us in on exactly what it means. Welcome, Dr. St. Laurent. Thanks for joining us today to tell us all about swamp. You're most welcome, Maggie, but please just call me Carrie. Okay, no problem. So Carrie, what is this swamp thing we hear so much about? Well, SWAP stands for the System Wide Monitoring Program. That's pretty cool. Not as cool as steak with mashed potatoes, but it's still pretty cool. So, what does that have to do with water? Well, we measure water quality using something called a data sonde. A data what? Well, a data sonde. Would seeing one be a little bit more helpful? Yes. Allow me. Well, that's really cool. Well, this is something called a water quality sond. We use it to measure the water quality at every 15 minute interval. This here is a protective cover to stop things like seaweed from getting in its way. If we unscrew this, we can see the probes that are underneath. So when you say water quality, what exactly are you talking about? Well, we measure things like temperature, salinity, dissolved oxygen, pH, and the water level. Zooks, that's a lot of information from one small piece of equipment. So, you also said something about weather data. How are you getting weather data with this in the water? Well, it's simple. We aren't. Okay, so how are you doing it? Well, for that, we'd have to go back to the St. Jones to visit our weather station. Okay, I got us covered. Ready? And, uh, Carrie? Carrie? I misplaced her. Just give me a second. Carrie? Carrie? Maggie? Anyone? See, I knew I could find her. Just. Hi, Carrie. Glad to have you. Okay. So, um,. Uh, what are we looking at right over here? Sure, so this is our weather station here at the St. Jones Reserve in Dover, Delaware. It measures weather, things like temperature, relative humidity, wind speed and direction, precipitation, and photosynthetically active radiation. That's the portion of light that most plants use for photosynthesis. Well, that's really cool, but uh, what does that have to do with water quality? Sure, so weather can have a lot to do with water quality. So you could imagine after a big rainstorm, you might expect to see the salinity become lower. And knowing something about how long it takes for that salinity to return to normal can tell us a lot about how an estuary might react to a big storm like a hurricane or even as the climate changes. Neato! So, you said that all the reserves collect this information? Well, all the reserves collect the same information, which is my favorite part about the system-wide monitoring project program. And so that allows us to be able to compare how weather and water quality changes around the entire United States. And what's even neater is you can use this right in a classroom. So teachers could use this to show their students how the local water quality and weather changes day to day. That's really cool. 
And that might have to be the topic of a future video, I think. Well, anyway, this is really cool. Thanks for coming and uh, teaching us about Swamp today. You're most welcome. And I hope everyone at home had a good time learning. Did you? Most excellent. Okay, well, thank you, Carrie. I've learned so much today. Um, do you need to get back to your car? You know, I think I might just walk this oh, time. Are you so sure? Thank you. Oh, okay. Bye, Carrie. Well, thank you all for joining us today and learning about what we do at the reserve and how we study our water and our weather to make our system-wide monitoring program. I hope you get out there, you check out some of the data because you never know what you can learn about your estuary through this information. Thanks for joining us today on Science Time with Maggie and I will see you next time. Oh, it is not very, oh, it smells so bad. I'm sorry. Here we got this.